So in this video, we are going to learn how to extract data from image using AI agent. So we are going to build an AI agent using which you can extract the data which you are uploading in your Google Drive. So all you have to do is just upload the image in your Google Drive folder and this AI agent will get the images which we are uploading and then this AI agent will send the same image to OpenAI. Using OpenAI, we are going to extract the content or the text from that image and after extracting the data, we are going to add the same data in our Google spreadsheet using the same AI agent. Now, if you want to learn how you can build this AI agent all by yourself, for that, let me just take you to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Google Drive folder where I'm adding the images from which I want to extract the text. So in this video, we are going to build an AI agent which will get the new images which we are uploading on this Google Drive folder. And this AI agent will send those images later on to OpenAI. Using OpenAI, we are going to extract the text content from those images. And at last, we are going to add the details of the images like the file name, the file URL, and the extracted text content in our Google spreadsheet as a new row. Now to connect all of these platforms, we are going to use Pabli Connect. And here you can see that we are on Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And here you can see you will reach to Pabli Connect's landing page. Here we have two different options, sign in and sign up free. Now, if you're new to Pabli, by clicking on this sign up free button, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabli user, just click on sign in. After signing in, you will reach this all apps page of Pabli. And here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And as you click on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard over here. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create a workflow for the AI agent inside Pabli Connect. So we will just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name my workflow as AI agent for text extraction from image. So this is the name which I'm giving. You can basically give any other name as per your choice. After naming a workflow, we just have to select the folder of our Pabli Connect account in which we are creating this workflow and click on create. And as you click on create here, you can see the workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation, this whole AI agent works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with the trigger step. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Google Drive folder with Pabli Connect with this AI agent in the trigger step so that whenever a new image is uploaded in this Google Drive folder, the same images detail will be received inside Pabli Connect and this AI agent will trigger, it will start. So now to that, using this Pabli Connect automation, using this AI agent, we will send the same image to OpenAI and using OpenAI, we are going to extract the text content from that image. After extracting the text content from that image, we are going to add all the details of the image and the extracted text content in our Google spreadsheet using the same AI agent. So let's see how it is done. Here in trigger step in choose app, search for Google Drive and select it. After selecting Google Drive in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as new file in specific folder. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button. Now to that here from the pop-up window, select your Google Drive account, then just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us to select the folder or subfolder. So here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the folders and subfolders which we have created in our Google Drive account. Out of all of this, the folder in which I will be uploading the images for extraction is named as images for data extraction. So from this dropdown, I'm going to select this folder. After selecting the folder, when we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the last image, the most recent image which we have uploaded on this folder will be received inside Pabli Connect in this trigger step. So what we are going to do, right now you can see that we don't have any image, any file in this folder. I'm just going to upload a new file over here. Let's click on file upload. I have this image of experience letter. Let me just upload this image over here. So just now what we have done, we have uploaded an image on our Google Drive folder. So this is an image of an experience letter. And right now you can see that the share permission of this image over here is private to only me. 
Now to send this image to OpenAI and extract the details out of it, first we have to change the shear permission of this image. And not just this, for all the images which we are adding in this folder, we have to change the shear permission of all of those images so that we can send it to OpenAI for text extraction. Now changing the shear permission of each and every image file will be a tedious task. So what we can do, we can change the shear permission of this whole folder. Click on this folder name from the drop down, go to share and click on the share button. After clicking on share, the right now you can see that in general axis, the share permission is restricted. From this drop down, select the share permission as anyone with the link and then just click on done. And as we click on done here, you can see that the share permission of all the files in this folder is now changed to anyone with the link. After changing the share permission and uploading the file, we will just go back to Pabli Connect and click on the save and send test request button. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same image which we have uploaded just now. Here you can see that we have the web view link of the same image. If I copy this link and open it in a new tab, the same image will open in front of us. Also after that, we will get another link, which is the download link of the image. So this is the direct download link and using this link, this image file can be downloaded over here. So if I open this image, you can see the same image is downloaded. Then after that, we'll scroll down further and we will get some other details related to the same image. Like here, you can see that we have the name of the image file. We have the date and time when we have uploaded it, modified it and all the details. So in this way, the step one of building this AI agent is completed and we have connected our Google Drive folder with the AI agent to capture the new images which we are uploading over there. Now after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we are going to send the same image to OpenAI and extract the text content from it. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action step and here in choose app, we will search for OpenAI. Just select it. After selecting OpenAI, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as extract content from PDF slash image. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our OpenAI account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our OpenAI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key. To get it, just log into your OpenAI account and just go to the dashboard. After coming to dashboard from the left sidebar, select API keys and click on this create new secret key button. Then after that, we just have to give this secret key a name. So I'll just give the secret key a name as AI agent for text extraction from image. You can give any other name as per your choice. Then just select the project of your OpenAI account for which we are generating this API key and select the permission as all and click on this create secret key button. Now, as you click on this create secret key button, just copy the API key from here, go to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting the API key, just click on save. And as you click on save, here you can see that our OpenAI account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for the OpenAI model, that using which model we want to basically extract the text content from the image. So in this drop down, we have four options and out of these fours, I will be using GPT-40 Mini. If you want, you can use any other model as well. Not that it is asking us image slash PDF URL. So here in this field, we have to enter the image URL, the URL of the image from which we want to extract the text content. Now we have received the image URL from Google Drive in the trigger step. So here from the trigger step responses, we have to basically add this response of the download link, direct download link of the image file, which we have received. So here from the trigger step responses, we have to add this response of web content link over here in this OpenAI action step. And to add the trigger step responses in this OpenAI action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of image slash PDF URL and here from the drop down, select the response of image URL and it will be mapped. Then it is asking us for the prompt. So here we have to enter the prompt which we want to give to OpenAI that what do we want OpenAI to do with this image. So I have already copied a prompt. Let me just paste this prompt over here. The prompt says extract all the visible text content from the image and return the output as plain text only. Do not format the response as JSON or wrap it in a code block. Maintain the original line break spacing and layout as seen in the image for clarity and readability. The output should look like how the text appear in the image. So I've clearly mentioned that I want to extract the text content as plain text with the proper formatting. After entering this prompt over here, it is asking us for the structured output. 
Now, if you are extracting some kind of structured details, some fixed details like from the document or images like invoices, where you want to get all the details of the products, prices, total amounts, client details, and all of that into a specific format, you can enter the structured output, a JSON object or a JSON schema over here in this field. And then after extracting the details, OpenAI will give you the response in that same structured output or structured format only. Right now, we are just extracting the plain details and not the JSON details. That's why we can just keep this field as blank. And then just click on save and send test request. Now, as I click on save and send test request, here you can see that within a few seconds, we are going to receive some response over here. And the response is received. And here in this response, you can see that in front of message content, we have the extracted text. We have the extracted data over here. And this is the same text which we have just now extracted from the image, which we have uploaded in our Google Drive folder. So this means that using this AI agent, we have successfully sent the image to OpenAI and extracted the text out of it. Now at last, we want to add all of these details, the details of the image and this text extracted from the image in our Google spreadsheet. For that, just scroll down, click on this Add Action Step button over here, and then here in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Just select it. After selecting Google Sheets, in Action Event from the drop-down, select the Action Event as Add New Row. Then just click on Connect, and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this Sign In with Google button. Then after that, here in the pop-up window, select your Google Sheets account, then just scroll down and click on continue. And as you click on continue, we will see a Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us to select the spreadsheet. So here in this drop-down, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have in our Google Sheets account. Out of all of this, the spreadsheet in which we want to add these details is named as extracted data from images. So from this drop-down, we are going to select the same spreadsheet. Then after that, it is asking us to select the sheet. Now in this spreadsheet, we have only one sheet named as sheet one. That's why here in the drop-down, we can see only one option of sheet one. And in this sheet, we are going to add the details. So let's select it. Then after that, all the columns of data which we have created in this Google sheet, you can see all of these columns as fields over here, like file name, file URL, and text content, the same columns which we have added in Google sheet. And one by one, we have to basically add the details into these fields by mapping. So we will just click on this field of file name over here. And we have received the file name of the uploaded image from Google Drive. So here from the Google Drive's trigger step responses, we will select the response of the file name over here. So let's scroll down. And here it is. Just select the response of file name and it will be mapped. Then here in file URL as well from Google Drive responses, I will be adding the web view link in my Google spreadsheet. We sent the downloadable link to OpenAI, but in Google Sheets, I want to basically able to view the image. So that's why I'm adding web view link. And at last, in text content, we have extracted the text content using OpenAI. So from OpenAI responses, map the response of the extracted content over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here is now added as a new row in our Google spreadsheet. So let's check it. We will just go to a Google spreadsheet and yes, here you can see that in this Google sheet, we have received the response. Let me just adjust the height of this row. And here in this response, we have the file name of the same image which we have uploaded in Google Drive. We have the link of the same image file as well. If we click on this link, the same image will open in front of us. And we have the text content extracted from the same image as well. So in this way here, you can see the AI agent which we have built using Pavli Connect. This AI agent is working perfectly fine. Now, after building this AI agent, we are going to test this AI agent once. For that, I'll just go to Google Drive and I'm going to upload another image over here. So from my system, I have this image of Pavli Chatflow's catalog page. I'm just uploading this image with some text over here in my Google Drive folder. And as I upload this image, we will see automatically within 10 minutes, this AI agent will take this image, extract the text content, and add the details in our Google spreadsheet. And it basically takes 10 minutes of time because the connection between Google Drive and Public Connect Trigger is a polling-based connection. And in this type of connection, this AI agent will check for new files in our Google Drive folder every 10 minutes. So what we have to do, we just have to wait for 10 minutes over here.
Okay, so now we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's see our Google spreadsheet. And yes, here you can see that in our Google spreadsheet, the details of the same image which we have uploaded on Google Drive is added. We have the same image file name over here. We have the link of the same image as well. And also the extracted text content from the same image is added over here. So these are the complete text which we had in this particular image. So we have tested this AI agent in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just this, you can build AI agent and connect multiple applications for multiple processes of your business to automate it using Pavly Connect. And here let me tell you that you will get a clone link of this same AI agent of the same workflow in the description box below. And by clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow, the same AI agent into your own Pavly Connect account and start using it for free. Also let me tell you, Pavly Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavly Connect account. So if you want to try and test this AI agent, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.